Welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Tableau. This series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in Tableau. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how to show or hide parameters or filters based on another parameter in Tableau. Let me first show you the demo of what we will be doing today. Here I have a bar chart that shows us category wise sales. And here I have added two parameters that allow user to change the dimension or the measure. Now suppose a user wants to select region wise uh, profit. Then from the dimension selection parameter we can select region and from the measure selection parameter we can select profit so now the view gives us region wise profit i have already created a detailed video on how to change the dimension or the measure that we have in the view using a parameter in tableau you will find the link of that video on the top right corner and i have also added the link of that video in the description below in today's session, we will see how can we show or hide a parameter when a particular value is selected from another parameter. So currently you can see only two parameters are there in the view. The requirement was that when I click on order date, then we want to give user functionality to change the date aggregation to view this bar chart either yearly or quarterly so suppose we want to see quarterly sales then we can click on sales from the major selection parameter and from the date aggregation parameter we can select quarterly so you will observe that when i will click on another dimension let's click on segment so this date aggregation parameter is now hidden the date aggregation parameter will come in the view only when we select order date from the dimension selection parameter. Now let's jump to Tableau and see how to show or hide a parameter based on selection from another parameter. Here we have a bar chart that gives us category wise sales and here are the two parameters that allow users to change the dimension or measure that we have in this view. Now we need to add the third parameter here that will allow user to change the date aggregation and we need to see that parameter only when order date is selected from the dimension selection parameter. So first let's drag a vertical container here all these are the tiled containers that I'm using. So drag a vertical container. Now we will add the parameter. Click on the drop down. Go to parameter and select this date parameter. We need to add this parameter inside this vertical container. So drag this parameter inside this container. So currently you will observe that whenever I select any dimension then this date parameter is not getting hidden. So what we will try to do is we will add a blank sheet in this same container in which we have added this date parameter and using that blank sheet we will try to hide this date parameter when a user selects any dimension starting from category till subcategory apart from the order date from this dimension selection parameter. When we will select this order date from the dimension selection parameter then the blank sheet that we have added in the same container will be hidden and the date parameter will be visible in the view. Let me do it that will help you to understand better. So first we will create a new sheet. Create a new calculated field. 
first of all let me show you the dimension selection parameter where i have added all the dimensions so using this dimension selection parameter we will create a new calculated field so click on the drop down click on create calculated field let's name it show parameter and here we will create a true false calculated field uh, dimension selection parameter is not equal to order date click on okay drag this show parameter to row shelf we want this sheet to be visible in the view when the user selects any of these four dimensions when order date is selected then we want this sheet to be hidden so drag the show parameter calculated field that we have created to filter shelf and from here click on custom value list write down here true click on plus sign to add this value in the list click on okay so we want this sheet to be visible only when the dimension selection parameter is not equal to order date now go back to the dashboard and drag this sheet in the same container in which we have added this date parameter just above this date parameter now change the fit of this sheet to entire view click on the drop down and select entire view let's hide the title right click and hide title now let me select sub category you will see that whenever i select any of these four dimensions segment region category then this sheet is not getting hidden this is because we are telling tableau to show this sheet when the dimension selection parameter is not equal to order date and when i click on order date then the sheet is hidden and we see this date parameter at the top click on sub category now we will convert this sheet to a blank sheet so that nothing is visible that is written here go back to the sheet first of all remove the tooltip go to tooltip uncheck show tooltips click on okay then create a new calculated field click on the drop down click on create calculated field we will create a blank field that will help us to hide the text that is visible now drag this blank to text and let's hide this header right click and uncheck show header now remove these grid lines right click and click on format go to borders then from here select none for the row divider now this sheet is entirely a blank sheet go back to the dashboard now the real magic will happen so when i will click on order date the date parameter will come at the top and the blank sheet will be hidden because we have given the condition in the this sheet that we want to see this sheet only when the parameter is not equal to order date the moment we will select order date from the dimension selection parameter then the blank sheet will be hidden now the last step click on sub category now the parameter is visible here what we have to do is we will add a blank floating sheet at the top of the state parameter press shift on the keyboard to convert it to a floating sheet decrease the size adjust the size so that 
just this parameter is hidden and give a white background to this sheet click here and select this white color now you will observe that when i select category region segment and sub category we won't see that parameter and the moment i will click on order date the date parameter will be visible in the view so this might seem confusing but if you will watch this video again you will definitely be able to execute this this i have done using the tile container also give a fixed height to this parameter click on the drop down and select uh, edit height let's give you need to give a fixed height to this parameter and make sure to select entire view for this blank sheet if you want to add this date parameter as a floating parameter suppose you want to add the date parameter here then you will have to repeat the same steps but the change here will be that first you will drag a horizontal container floating then drag the date parameter inside this floating container now drag the white sheet in this horizontal container click on the drop down make sure entire view is selected now we will give a fixed width to this parameter let me select 150 click on okay the parameter is clearly visible click on the drop down click on select container horizontal let's adjust the size suppose we need to add this parameter here now let me select order date so you will observe that the parameter is switching the sides now add a blank sheet here as floating adjust the size drop it on this date parameter and give the layout as white line is still visible let's increase the size now let me select order date so you will observe that the parameter is not entirely visible to deal with this situation first click on any other dimension then we will increase the width of the blank sheet a little bit now select order date now the parameter is clearly visible so in this way we can show or hide a parameter when a particular value is selected from another parameter this was all that i had to cover in this session i have added the link of this workbook in the description below do not forget to hit thumbs up button if you like this video see you in the next tutorial